less than 48 hours apart. Two Aboriginal women, both in their 20s, were shot to death in Winnipeg. Now their families are left picking up the pieces. If anybody had answers out there for us, please come forward. Our family needs closure. On Tuesday, Rhonda Flett's 29-year-old niece, Jeanine Fontaine, was shot in the back of her head. The house she was living in was then set on fire. The mother of three was taken off life support Wednesday. Janine was cousin to Tina Fontaine, the 15-year-old whose death helped prompt a public inquiry into missing and murdered Indigenous women. Tina's body was pulled from the Red River in the summer of 2014. Now the Fontaine family is once again dealing with tragedy. We're going to miss her a lot. Just like a piece of our family got taken and that can't be replaced. Janine Fontaine's death came two days after 21-year-old Shania Chartran was shot outside of a home in a nearby neighborhood. But Winnipeg police aren't linking the two homicides. Sometimes the, you know, the, the grim reality of, of uh, you know, violence in our community is, you know, uh, uh, is drugs and is gangs and, and uh, you know, uh, and different components uh, and different relationships uh, with individuals in, in various communities. So, yeah, those are all obviously hot topics and um, areas that we're going to be exploring and continue to explore. Kim Koshiak organized the vigil for Janine Fontaine. She says women across the city are concerned about their safety, especially those living in high-risk neighborhoods. We need a lot of um, a lot of resources out there. There's not enough. We need treatment centers. We need women's shelters. We need um, help all over, all over, like. It, there's just not enough resources out there for these young girls. Northern Manitoba Grand Chief Sheila North Wilson says disregard and disrespect for Indigenous women are still prevalent. I think the, the better and faster we work together as a society to, you know, turn the tide and, and start thinking of an Indigenous women especially and girls as human, as, as people that are valuable in the society, the better we will all be. Right now, no arrests have been made in either Fontaine or Chartrand's deaths. Police are continuing to investigate. Courtney Rutherford, CBC News, Winnipeg.